morning I'm back all right I know I've been away for a while I am going to do one of the coloring sheets on my Etsy it is a grayscale I am using my Prismacolors I've already pulled a lot of colors here and we are going to just jump right in here and get started I'm gonna try to remember to tell you the colors along the way all right so first of all I am going to use 924 I believe that's what that number is and see that's that's why Prisma colors are so difficult but anyway all right so as I start in on this um, this is a stargazer and so there's lots of the darker reds and such in here and I'm not going to worry too much about all these dots because I'm going to go over those later now normally I tell you that I'm going to do a bunch of circles and overlap them, keep them tight together. I am branching out in how I do all this. So just um, hang on and be prepared for some changes. I um, try to always go in strokes when I'm doing my leaves. I do them the direction that they grow. So for this flower, because it does have streakage in it, I'm trying to get those streaks to go in the direction it would grow. All right, sounds, sounds simple enough, right? And you can see that's not real heavy there. I'm keeping it pretty light, okay? And then there's some of this where this is darker. I'm gonna put some of that on. But again, the light that I'm talking about is the heaviness of my stroke. I can still see all kinds of white popping through there from the paper. Okay, now I'm going to come in with this one. It's 926. All right, we're going to come back over, and this is going to put the pink in it that um, stargazers have. This is just going to add that pink right over the top. And I will come out a little bit, still keeping it soft, light strokes, coming out a little bit further than that first color was. And I'm gonna get pinker yet, so don't worry that you've still got white showing through. We are not even finished with this. And I'm probably gonna do one of these petals, and then from there you'll know how to do the rest, and I'll skip on into the middle, into the center, and we'll work in there some. Okay, so just those, those back and forth little movements, and we're still going in grayscale, we're hitting that, um, first we hit that darkest gray, and now we're hitting the next gray. And then this is gonna come out a little from where it's folded over, it's got a little bit of a shadow in there. We don't want to get it too dark, but we do want it to actually have that shadowed look. And see, I'm curving the pencil because that area is curved, okay? So be sure you're going the direction that your flower is going. Okay, I don't want to keep going straight because that's actually a curved line. And that's gonna make your um, flowers look a lot more realistic. Now I'm gonna overlap into my lightest gray a little bit. And again, if you purchase this, you're gonna be able to see up close the um, grays and how they change a lot easier than what you're gonna see them right now on my camera. Okay, this is just the camera on my phone. It's what I have to use, and it works okay. For me, it does. I hope it does for you. All right, now let's go to another one. This is a pinker, still, 929. Yeah, this one actually says pink on it. So now we're going to come in here and start doing some blending. A lot of times I will use my lightest color to blend. And then I'm going to come out even lighter right here because a lot of that 
is going to have some white on it, but I've got to have something lighter next to that first color for the white to blend into. You can't take white and just blend it into red or burgundy or whatever. You've got to come out with some sort of color for an in-between so that you can gradually do that. It's almost like an ombre where you go from one color to the next to the next. So I'm just going to do light here, but then I am going to go over all this. And see, because I've gone in this line instead of in my circles, I still have those lines really showing up nicely. And all of this is pink in here. Um, if you need to, just pull up Stargazer Lily and look at a photo, and it's going to help you see the colors quite a bit. All right, so then there's that. Now I'm going to come in with my white. Actually, I'm going to come in with my lightest gray that I've pulled. This is 10% warm gray. You tend to use your warms with your colors that are close to the sun. So with reds, yellows, oranges, they just look better. And see how I just deepen that some? And I'm going to fade it out over here under this little edge. And just blend in with that. There's some here under that green. There's some here in the fold. And just blending in with that pink that I had just done. And if I went over the grass, that would be fine too. I would just need to go back over it again later with the green. Okay, there we go. So, just a little bit in here. A little bit over here. Gray is what's going to make your white look whiter. Okay? So however you can get that up in there. Alright. Now we're going to move to a darker gray. I'm still with my warm, but I went with... Sorry, I'm having to turn this so I can read it. I wish they'd print something besides gold on these pencils. 30%. It's um, 1052, so double check that. I'm, I'm not going to swear that that's a 30, but I think it is. So now I'm going to come in and just do the darkest darks just right up in there. See how it just pops that to the front when I put that line in? Yeah, I know you can't see real well, but see how it just pops to the front now? Come on, focus for me. Yeah, that's the only problem with using my camera that's on my phone, but I've got nothing else to use, and I can't get that to focus, so I'm going to go back down. <laughs> But I think you could kind of see what I was talking about. Just coming in with the darkers, and it just makes things pop to the front and to the back. See, it makes that look more recessed now. I could come in here and make this even a little bit darker, and then blend it out. Just blend it out softly. I don't have to change back to the lighter gray. I can just have a very soft touch with this. And when you do that, it just pushes the other colors somewhat to the back or front, depending on if you just went behind or in front of something. And see, there's a little fold in that petal. So I just did the fold line and then came on one side. And it kind of helped that. Okay, a little bit more right here. Not a lot of this, just some. And then I pulled this one in case I needed it. This was warm gray, 20%, but I was able to blend from the 10 to the 30 without any problem, so I'm not going to need that now. Okay, let's go to white. Now we're going to need this white just to finish blending all this together, because I really don't want to just see 
all that um, color just laying there flat. I want it to blend out more. Can you see how that's blending? How it's looking more streaked coming across there? Okay, I'm going to try something. Y'all hold on. All right, now let me reposition and hope I can stay in frame. Okay, what I was talking about is I just worked on this area, how that's more blended than this is right here. See this? You can still see the lines. So let's work on this. Using my white for a blender. That way it's lightening a little bit, but it's not really dulling. A lot of times when you use your um, blender with Prismacolor, it's going to actually dull the colors. Where this, I think it just kind of softens them. And that's another reason I started so bright to start with, was because I knew I was going to soften the whole thing. And then I don't mind the streaks in this too much because that flower does that some. Now, do you see the difference though? Just going over that with the white pencil. See this versus this. And you might like this. If you do, leave it. You know? Don't, don't stress over it. This is just a coloring page. Not to be stressed over. And it grows this way down to the point. Coming on down. And see how that all just blended right there? See, that's a nice blend now. It really looks like this is rolled over on top of this. Do you see how there's a shadow on my hand right through here? That's what that is right there. It's that shadow. Okay, so just keep going. And I know you can watch me do this and eventually probably maybe get it, but if you purchase the page, you'll be able to actually sit and color along, and I think it'll help you some. Um, most of my single coloring pages are like a dollar and a half. So I've got them cheap enough that most everybody can afford to pop over to my Etsy and buy it. And I'll put the link for that down underneath in the very first comment. How's that? So it'll be easy to find. And this is one of those pages that's not going to take very long to do because you are just putting all these petals in. And then I've done other pages where I show you how to do a background I've shown you how to do um, unfocused greens, so I'm not going to really concentrate on that. Okay, and as it's been talked about quite a bit here lately on my uh, group that I'm with, Coloring Books Keep It Clean, it may look like a hot mess before it gets better. Keep going. Or if you're a member over there, post it and ask everybody what they think. They'll be honest. It's no big deal. They will be very honest. Now, this green is a bit bright, so I may have to get into my uh, greens and pull something else. But this in here is a green. And then it comes out. Let me try this. Oh, sorry. You're right. Thank you. 912. And then I'm going to try this color. It's 1002. It's a yellowy orange. And I think it's going to be too bright or too orangey. Yeah, I don't like that. So don't do that. Let's grab the colors here. And let's go into this. And that's what I was looking for right, right there. That's it. All right, so I grabbed a couple of colors 
out of my binder. We're going to go with 1004. This is a lighter green. And see, I'm not even going to erase that. I'm just going to go over the top. Maybe I should have erased it because it's not blending as well. But you get the idea. So don't do as I do. Do as I say. <laughs> and then these, the darker edge or tip, all right, and then when it gets lighter, we're going to go over to 914, which is a yellow. And we're also going to use that yellow on the outer edge here. And then I'm going to come back in with that green. No, I'm going to do a different green. Let's pull this olive green, 911. And I'm just getting right here in the deepest, darkest areas. You see what I'm doing? Just pulling that out some. Okay, then I'm going to go back to this, um, let's see, 1004. And if you've got my conversion chart, you can look and see if there's a conversion for that. There's not a conversion on everything. It's just not possible because not all these companies are wanting you to be able to convert. They want you to get their pencils. 914, back to the yellowy color. And the thing is, you could even use Crayola pencils. It really doesn't matter. Just make them do what you want them to do. Now I'm going to go to the white, and that's going to knock that back. Yeah, you can use any pencils you want. There are no coloring police. You could do this in oranges and make it into a tiger lily. Yeah, why not? Okay, now I'm going to pick up this one, 925. This, to me, is what makes the picture when you come in and start putting all these little bits in. And if that's too bright for you, go grab your darker one that we used to start with. It's just going to be personal preference on this. And see, I can still see through to see where these are. In fact, in the download um, on Etsy, I'm going to go ahead and also send you the original, okay? That I, that I, um, picture that I took. That way, as you're coloring this, you'll have it to look at. And these are just little scribble lines or little dots. If you do the scribble lines like I am, some of them look more like dots, make sure you're going the direction that it's growing. So like here, don't go this way. Make sure you're going this way. And I need to zoom back out. Sorry. If I zoom back out, then I'm sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what I did that I think you missed was right down here. My apologies. And this really is one big dark area. Okay, so go the direction it's growing. It'll make all the difference. It's just like when you do an animal, you start with the fur that's coming from the bottom first, and you work to what you see on top last. It's just going to make it a whole lot more realistic. And you would go through and finish doing all these dots. See how that's working? And you just keep going at it. Keep going. And then if I want to add this color somewhere else, you know how sometimes I pull color into other areas, then I would go ahead and do this and pull it through. Okay, so we're almost done with this video. We're just going to do a couple more things here. 
and then I will post it to Etsy and post this to YouTube and that way when you go to look for it it's all there okay so that's what we're gonna finish doing there let me show you this piece real quick and then we're gonna call this a wrap okay this is 1033 and I'm gonna pull up from the center this guy is actually a little bit different color here um, now let me explain something too. these things that are coming out a lot of times you see they're actually coming up and then folding out it's what you usually see the little fuzzy things on when I get my flowers like this I pull all those off first thing if you get those on your clothes they will stain you okay so that's why you're not seeing those on the tips of these is because I pulled them off before I ever even took the picture I have um, seen way too many people with stained up clothes because they get them on them if you do ever get it on you first thing you want to do is not brush it off with your hand take a tissue and lightly dust it off yes I'm sorry that was number 1002 yeah you want to take and just dust it with a tissue not your hand or um, even a pipe cleaner if you've got one would work good okay that's not what I was looking for let's try this one yep this is good 946 we're gonna do this darkest dark here and see how that just make that pop to the front and then I'm gonna put some here and see how I'm curving that's making this look more rounded like it really is because there is it's kind of bumpy and so you don't want it real smooth okay so there's that all right that's basically it you would finish with your dots I could still do more blending here um, but all in all that's not bad I could even bring in what is this dark green 908 I could even bring this in and deepen this even some more and then come back in with the other colors that I used before working backwards from dark to light this time 912 do some blending and then to that uh, chartreuse color yeah yellow chartreuse 1004 and blend that some more all right so you're going to do that all the way around and where this one's on top make sure you keep this line white and that you use your darkest colors down in here just like we use the darkest here you're going to use them right in there just keep going do each petal separately and then at the end look at all of them make sure they look balanced and if they don't that's when you want to go back in and add things here or there and this piece I would have actually if I were doing this for myself I would um, have left that till last and just went ahead and done all the petals and then I would have done all the green and then I would have done that uh, brown last just because it's darker but um, I wanted you to be able to go ahead and see that I would come through for the background and um, this is 908 background would be last last I would do the darkest see in these dark areas and this is where you want to just really blend it so that you're not seeing anything poke through there but then you can get lighter and then you can come in with your other greens that we've used 911 see here and I can get a little lighter here but it's not a lot lighter and it's still blending in with that other color you see how I'm blending it so that is actually darker and then it gets lighter as it's coming out because that's in the V remember a lot of times if you have a V whatever's down underneath there is going to be darker and then I could still take the same color and do some of the darkest areas on here
when you're doing this greenery, it's going to look better if you'll use a couple of different colors. So then let me go to 912. And no, I did not provide you with a color list, but I have told you the colors. So you can go back and watch it and then write down your colors. So y'all don't ask me, hey, what color did you use for blah, blah, blah. Um, just watch the video, listen to it, and you'll be able to figure it out. Okay, so that's how I would do all that then too. Okay, good to go. All right, thumbs up. Let's see you do it.